I was going over my 29 week, welcome back to the channel by the way anyways, um, as I was going over my 29 week update of pregnancy, I got to thinking about like now is the time that we actually should start considering as far as what we're going to do for birth plans and stuff according to my book and stuff like that. Um, as far as my birth plan, I have made some adjustments. Initially, I did not have a birth plan. I just figured I would go into the hospital. I knew that I wanted to labor. I wanted to have a natural birth. And that was pretty much my birth plan. Hey, let's go in, get this baby out, safe as possible. So here comes an aversion, which is weird. I don't understand why I get these when I eat. But, um, and I also took the iron pill. So, anyways, my birth plan. I've made some changes to my birth plan. I've always wanted to attempt to do the lotus birthing, but at the end of the day, I've always changed my mind against it because it's just too, for me, it would just personally be too much for me with a new baby and then having other children, trying to keep up with, you know, the placenta and all that other stuff. Um, ultimately, I've now changed my mind and decided that instead of doing the lotus birthing, I'm going to do delayed cord cutting. So I am going to ask that they delay the cord cutting. Um, my hospital that I deliver at, if you guys seen my video when I took my hospital tour, I did mention to you guys that they do not um, mess with the baby at all for the first hour of birth. They take the baby out, they give the baby to you, and then, you know, they come back in an hour to give the baby his first bath and his shots and those type of things just for bonding and stuff like that. So, I don't think I'm going to delay the cord cutting for an hour. Um, I've been doing research and some people say that, you know, all you need is 30 minutes tops, 15 to 30 minutes tops, or basically is once the cord stops pulsating and runs white, um, you, you should be able to cut it. If you know for sure or if you've done cord cutting, please leave a comment or something below. But I think I'm only going to delay it for about 15 to 30 minutes and then go ahead and have the cord cut. I also have made an amendment to, you know, add it to my birth plan. I'm either I would like to pull the baby out or I would like for the baby's father to pull the baby out. Um, as far as pain medication, I'm still sticking with the same. I, I do not plan on medicating for pain management. I also, in addition to that, would not like an episiotomy at the end of the day unless it's absolutely emergency necessary you know, to where they feel like I'm gonna have a third or fourth degree tear, I would rather labor and not have to be cut. I would rather have a minor first degree tear or something. Hey, it's a baby coming out of your vagina. Of course, you're gonna tear at some point somewhere, but I would prefer for me to tear naturally if it's not gonna be that severe with a natural birth as opposed to having an episiotomy. Um, in addition to that, I don't want the episiotomy. I don't want the epidural. I don't want them to cut the cord right away. Um, my hospital does not take the baby away from you. The baby, there is no, there is no NICU. Or, I mean, there's a NICU, but there is no nursery. So there's nowhere to take your baby unless your baby is sick at the hospital, which is partly why they do not take the baby from you in the beginning. They give you the one hour bonding time. They give you a congratulation meal and the baby stays in the room with you at all times. So. I don't have to include that in my birth plan. As far as who I particularly want in the room, I'm not quite sure. I live in LA and my family lives in Riverside, so I'm not sure if they're gonna come down for the birth. If they are, I may have my mother-in-law come into the room with me. I may have his mother come into the room with us, but for sure it will be us. My hospital does not allow children, so the babies won't be able to come right away until after the baby is born. So that pretty much nips that in the bud as far as who will be in my room during birthing. The position that I'll birth in, that's another something. I have a position that I love to birth my children in. It's easy for me. I know they like to have you laying flat on your back. I don't really care for that flat on your back. I more so prefer an inclined position, like you would sit up in your bed with pillows behind you. I just feel like that helps me birth and have more control of the bearing down, considering as I do not medicate and I have natural labors. So I will be controlling my birth my birthing position in addition to that I think that that's pretty much it as far as my birth plan I don't really have too many other things outside of those but it's crazy that I went from having no birth plan to now having things that I did want in particular for my birth plan so I'm kind of excited about the fact that I have settled on some things my main goal right now is to start drinking plenty of water 
Um, I have been walking. I've started walking because I, oh, my birth plan also. Um, part of the reason why I don't want to medicate is because I do want to be able to get up and walk the hospital while I labor down. Like, I want to be able to walk and walk the baby down. So I've already started walking, and I can tell that that is going to be beneficial to me because as I walk, I feel the pressure. I get the Braxton Hitz contractions a lot more frequent. And it could be because I need more water, but then in addition, like I said, I can feel that that is going to be an effective method for me for laboring. So I do want to be able to get up and walk around. So I, I've, I've packed my handy dandy slippers inside of my bag for that. Um, let's see, I packed my bag as far as photos and stuff. I am gonna take photos. I have, have not decided if I want to have a mirror during labor so that I can see me laboring because if I tear, this is the only thing. I wanna see the birth of my baby because I have never seen the birth of my children I've never watched it before and this most likely will be my last child I have not officially decided whether or not I'm gonna have them wheel me over and go ahead and tie my tubes yet it I mean for me it's the smartest thing to do I think that the baby's father I think he's in agreement with it I'm not quite sure like I sometimes I feel like he's for it and sometimes I feel like maybe he's not but then again, it's in one of them little jokey modes where who knows whether he's serious about it or not. But for me, I do feel like it would be in my best interest just to tie my tubes. Only because in the past, birth control has not really done well with my body and it's caused issues. Um, and I do not plan on having any more children. So I probably will add that to my birth plan, my final decision as to whether I want to have that done or not. I am bringing the baby's book so that they can stamp the baby's feet. Um, I have, like I said, the whole having the mirror down there. I'm not sure if they're going to allow me to record it. From what I understand, there is no real recording. I'm probably just going to have to sneak and do some kind of videoing and stuff because obviously I want to vlog my labor. So that part, I don't think they allow you to actually physically record the labor, but you can actually watch yourself labor and deliver. So I probably will attempt to do that. The only issue that fears me about that is that... If in the event I'm pushing and I see myself tear, for me, it's going to look way more dramatic to me. Like a first or second degree tear may look like a third or fourth degree tear to me. And then I will panic and then, you know, be nervous. It could ultimately halt my labor to where I'm nervous to push or something like that. And I don't want that to happen to where now I'm in fear of like, oh my God, I'm going to tear all the way if I push any harder type of deal. I just don't know if I want to see all of the things that they do. I've seen my cousin give birth and I swore to myself that I never wanted to be on that end ever again. So ultimately, like I said, I might just settle on pulling my baby out, me delivering the baby. Hey, who knows? Um, I think that that's pretty much it as far as my birth plan. Like, what do you ladies plan on doing for your birth plan? How do you plan on laboring? Do you plan on using medications? What are your thoughts on delayed cord cutting? Are you gonna delay cord cutting? Are you practicing a lotus birth? What is your procedures? Like, how do you feel? Are you gonna even have a birth plan? Are you just gonna go in? Are you gonna labor at home? Like me, myself, personally, I'm going to labor at home as long as I possibly can. My contractions have always started at about a minute to a minute and a half. I've never had four to five minute contractions with any of my labors. They've always started at about a minute and 45 seconds to two minutes apart and then just kind of dwindled. And then I ended up at the hospital because over a, a couple of minutes, they'll go from a minute to 45 seconds. And you know, and then that's when I know that I need to go. And so I've never been able to really labor, labor, but I want to labor at home as long as possible because I hate hospitals and I don't want to just be laid up in the bed and laboring for freaking ever in a hospital because your, your clock time for when you can go home doesn't start until after the baby's actually delivered. So if I have to go to the hospital and for some strange reason, this little boy takes 12 hours of labor before I actually get into active labor and I'm pushing and I deliver him that's a whole half a day that I've wasted at the hospital when I could have been at home enjoying myself at home you know what I mean so I'm gonna try to labor at home do you plan on laboring at home will you be going straight to the hospital just 
Are you going to eat before you have labor? I am going to intentionally attempt to eat. Um, maybe something light, something that'll be easily digested, nothing heavy so that I'm not so backed up with poop. But it will definitely be something light. I'm not going in hungry. I'm just not going to do it because it's just going to put me in a whole nother grumpy space. And who wants to deal with that? You know what I mean? So I definitely am going to try to have something to eat prior to going to the hospital. Um, ultimately, I hope everything goes well where I do not have to have a C-section. If in doubt I have to have a C-section, hey, so be it. But of course, I'm working towards not having to have that. So that's pretty much it. I will see you guys later. Again, leave your comments, your thoughts, what your birth plans are, what your plans are. I'd love to hear it. Love to know what everybody else has an idea of doing. This should be great. Alrighty, guys. See you later.